Hey everybody, it's Rejuve here. I was uh, allowed to enter the beta of World of Warcraft Legion. And uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do now is to check out what's changing for the Restoration Druid. I've been playing Restoration Rest Resto Druid for like 11 years now. So as you can imagine, I'm very curious about the talent changes and ability changes, skill changes, etc. So here we are in the beautiful, serene Moonglade which is the best place, well, lovely music as well, to, uh, to cover some topics. So let's first start off with the talents. As you can see, I already uh, selected the restoration specialization. So let's head into the talents. I've already been playing around a bit with, uh, well, with selecting them. But let's go, to, let's go over them. So here's the first one, prosperity. Swiftman now has two charges. Could be very nice in combination with Salt of Forest. Salt of Forest increases the healing for, like example, Wild Grow by 75%. Um, but it's already on almost same cooldown as Swiftman, so I don't think many people will use that combination. So, Prosperity. Swiftman has two charges. Scenarian Ward. We already know that one. It gives the uh, friendly target a shield. Uh, that heals the target for like well as you can see over 45k over six seconds when it's uh, when there's damage taken and there's germination that was before in the low tier talents but now it's up up top that uh, it allows you to apply rejuvenations twice to the same target which well almost every druid I know with I know of ran with so I'm gonna stay with that one and then the second tier we have renewal instantly heals you for 30% of your maximum health could be nice but if you're healing not really worth it in my opinion this uh, apparently took the place of Viserys gift that restored 5% health every 5 seconds then we have the Displacer Beast we know that one it's the one that teleports allows you to teleport like to blink for druids this one turned out really uh, really handy for a lot of raid encounters where you have to get out of the way quickly to avoid some uh, ground effects damaging and there's the wild charge that we already also know the, when you're in your beer form you can uh, charge to an enemy as a cat you can leap the trough form you can leap it's not really worth it in my opinion so I took the uh, displacement beast as I'm going to raid on my druid then the second tier balance affinity this one uh, learns, uh, lets you learn the moonkin form and two additional balance spells and also increases the range of all your abilities by 5 yards. Which could be nice for healing purpose. To, so you can stay a bit further away but still be able to heal. As the range now is like 40 yards. So you can increase to probably to 45 then. Yeah, 45 yard range. It's rather, rather nice. But there's also the Feral Affinity which gives you the increased movement speed by 15%. Which might also be handy. I'm not, it depends a bit on the fight. Some fights probably require you to stay max range. So you might want to get the 5 yards extra range. But a lot of range encounters uh, requires you to quickly be moving around. There's also the Guardian uh, Affinity. That one reduces all damage taken by 10%. And you also learn some uh, extra Guardian kind of abilities. But... On one hand, it makes you more versatile as a healer because you can, well, if there's not much healing to do, you can switch to, well, either Moonkin or Cat or even Tank form if you need to, to do some uh, outside of your role, damaging, tanking or whatever. I personally think that 40 yards range should be enough for for healing, so I took the Frail Affinity to have more movement speed. The next tier displays the Mighty Bash, which we all know is the stun. The mass entanglement, which roots to targets, and it may spread to additional targets, or the typhoon. This one knockbacks uh, the targets in front of you, which I think is best in this tier, so I took that one. Then I knew the next tier is the Salt of Forest. The entire Warlords of Draenor expansion I've been running with this one. Sometimes the tree form, but mostly the Salt of Forest because I uh, I like the overall healing burst that it gave to. Uh, 
to wild growth the, the boost and i see they even boosted wild growth improved healing now by uh, by uh, solve the forest it was 50 percent. it's even 75 in this one and there's also cultivation rejuvenation when rejuvenation heals the target below 60 percent health it applies cultivation to the target healing them for over seven half k over six seconds so i'm in a struggle of this one it's either solve the forest for me or cultivation i think this one is really nice because if you have two rejuvenations on the same target and the target is below six percent health they both will activate this cultivation effect so that's quite some extra healing so that's why i just clicked and selected this one but i might switch back to salt forest eventually i'm not sure then we have the next tier which uh, which calls for abundance for each rejuvenation you have active the cast time of healing touch is reduced by 10 percent and the critical effect chance of regrowth is increased by 10 percent might be strong i'm not really sure you can have two rejuvenation and germination on each target so it's already 20 percent healing Reduce healing cast time reduced by the for the healing touch, and the critical effect chance being increased by twenty percent if you already have on on one on two targets. Um, I'm not yet sure if I really need this compared to the other ones because the second one is inner peace, might be very nice in um, raid encounters where there's a lot of peak damage or more than off more than casual peak damage every couple of minutes and you are low on raid cooldowns. Then you might switch to this one, reduce the cooldown of Tranquility by 60 seconds. Nice addition to Tranquility is that it heals now 100% more when you're not in a raid. So in a party or a dungeon it heals like even more than in raids. That's good. It's a good thing. Keeps the dungeon groups going. And there is Spring Blossoms. Each target healed by your efflorescence is healed for an additional 3000k uh, 3, over 6 seconds. 3000k per target might be really nice. As a fluorescence is always well, a mandatory thing to put down as a restoration route at the area where mostly the melee is standing. So for me, it's, uh, it's all three pretty good. This can be okay ish, I think. This one might be nice if you're rate cooldowns, if you're low on rate cooldowns to be used. And this one is an overall booster to, uh, to healing. That's why I took this one. I like the overall thing instead of the burst thingies. Then in the last tier, we got Moment of Clarity. Omen of Clarity now affects the next three regrowths. Could be nice. I think. I'm not really sure yet about this one. We also have Flourish. Extends the duration of all your heal over time effects by six seconds. Is rather cool. Is rather nice, but it has a it has a one minute cooldown, so it's not a passive ability. So that's why I took the stone mark. Stone mark is reducing the cooldown of iron mark by 30 seconds and it increases healing from your heal over time effects by 20%. So imagine you're healing in the tank or healing somebody who gets a lot of damage. Just iron bark them every time the cooldown is uh, is reduced. Or a cooldown is done, so that's like every 30 seconds. And every 30 seconds, it starts your uh, it starts increasing the healing from your heal over time effects. So that's why I took this one. I really think this is a nice one. So that is covering the talents. Let's go check some of the abilities. Well, we know bar skin, bear form, cat form, dice, space beast, efflorescence, efflorescence. Nice to see back is Innervate. It doesn't give mana back this time, but it infuses a friendly healer with energy, allowing them to cast spells without spending mana for 10 seconds. So every 3 minutes, if I cast this one on myself, like this, I can just start healing without it costing me mana, which is, well, as you can imagine, rather nice so welcome back to innervate there we have the iron mark well it's now still on one minute cooldown or it is on one minute cooldown but um, as you can see in the description now as it took the talent the targets can become stuff as iron wood reducing all damage taken by 20 percent and it increases your healing from your heal over time effects with 20 percent probably also for only little to 12 seconds the uh, the effect lasts but still it's nice it's an extra boost to healing well, we know all these ones revitalize the, 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 the healing. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, there's all the dead party members. It's like the Mass Resurrection is called Revitalize now. Fair enough, fair enough. Did they remove Mass Resurrection then? I'm not in a guild yet, so I can't really see it. So let's go back to this one. 
So here we are, not many changes into the abilities things, apart from having Innovate back, which is rather nice. Which I don't mind at all. Ah, Isira's Gift is here now as a passive. It's not a talent anymore and it heals you for 3% of your maximum health every 5 seconds. So it has been nerfed a little bit, like 2%, but it's still a passive and it's a non-talent anymore. Which is very helpful. Gives some extra healing. So yes, that's basically covering the rest of the talents and abilities for this moment at level 100. Uh, when there are some more changes, I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching this one and uh, I'll see you in the next video.